My name is uh, Stefania Milan and I work out of the University of Amsterdam. I'm the principal investigator of the Data Active project whose full title is Data Activity, the politics of big data according to civil society. So what we do in Amsterdam, there's many of us actually, there's currently a team of 12 people, is to explore civis, um, the people's engagement with big data, massive data collection and datification and anything also past that, so artificial intelligence and other similar challenges of today. These days I'm working on a number of things. One of them is thinking about algorithmic imaginaries and how people think about the software that they use. We are talking about users and in particular about civil society, so the realm of activity outside the market and the state. So essentially people like us who are um, users of platforms, who are citizens with ID cards, who have a credit card, who go banking and uh, travel with public transport, for example. So people who are essentially constantly tracked, for good and for bad, for good in the sense that sometimes it gives something and it makes our life easier, for bad because it doesn't intrude in our privacy, so we turn into data double, so to speak. So what I'm trying to understand among the various things together with other people in Amsterdam is how do we think about these algorithms? How do we perceive them? Do we have a notion that they are even operating in the background? And if so, what is in a way the mainstream narrative? So what do companies like Google and Facebook tell us about the algorithms? For example, banalizing, making it easier than it is, you know, helping our life, that it facilitates things and, and so on and so forth. And what is our own imaginaries? In particular, we're interested in resistance. So how do we resist these mainstream imaginaries, commercial, if you want, imaginaries? So how do we oppose, how, do, how are we able to elaborate a story which empowers us to be actually agents and owners of our algorithmic uh, self? So that's one thing. The other thing we're doing, together with other, uh, other people again, in particular with Claudio Agosti, the developer of Facebook Tracking Exposed, is to look at ways in which, through um, implementing uh, small software like um, browser um, extensions on your browser, so making it easy, very easy for the users, we can actually keep track of what the algorithms do to us. To us. We're talking about proprietary algorithms, so we know uh, the effects, the outcomes of the algorithms, which are very individualized. These are personalization algorithms, so they're unique to, to me and to you and to the others. But we see our own perspective and not the rest. So we are trying to sort of reverse engineer these algorithms in a way that helps users become aware of what the algorithms do to them and act upon it.